From the point of view of survival, the greatest threat is often not predators, but your kind, which surpasses you in any of the characteristics. The same can be said about people, study, work, love. People are constantly in contact with each other. After seeing the hero heading somewhere, the man asked that this newcomer was working overtime again yesterday. The woman replied that it looked like he was going to the boss. Have you finished that assignment already? The boss in his office was already shaking all over, saying what should they do? He's coming. He's already coming here. The secretary asked him to calm down a bit. Having said that he's just an intern, the boss shouldn't wind himself up like that. And the boss himself thought that an intern who, in less than six months of working here, managed to knock out three managers and one department head. Yes, this intern is just a monster. He is extremely efficient at work, wise and organized. All those who tried to plot against him suffered a shameful defeat. His behavior has attracted the attention of the board of directors, and the boss is afraid that this intern will go head over heels and someday target himself. But slamming his fist on the table, he told his secretary that she was right. The boss shouldn't worry about it. He's the boss, and he shouldn't be afraid of some idiot. At this time, this intern came in, and he said he had brought a report. This intern's name is Wang Quan, and he likes to compete. And after Wang Quan brought the report to his boss Liu, sitting outside surrounded by girls, he thought, who would have thought that the boss would give up so quickly? He gets a little bored in this company. Maybe I should change my job. But then he received a message saying that it should suit him. Picking up the phone, he saw his main characteristics, which read that, endurance is 68%, fighting spirit is 120%, intelligence is 82%, vital energy is 45%, will is 92%, reflex is 55%, it was further stated that the analysis of the data obtained was a comprehensive assessment. The object met the criteria and was allowed to participate in the competition. The game has been launched. Once in the game, Wang Quan was met by a girl who told him welcome to the survival game. He has arrived in the domain of the gods. The girl said that the boundless domain of the gods. Players should plunge into the boundless new measure and devote themselves to completing various tasks. According to the various tasks facing the players, they can team up, compete, confront, even hunt each other. Currently, the game is gaining popularity, so from time to time there will be new players who have been selected by the system. Wang Huan is one of the first players selected by the system and now has to pass the test. Wang Huan thought that he could not distinguish this place from the real one. Even with the use of the most advanced technologies, it is impossible to achieve such an effect. It is simply amazing. Did any of the players ask what kind of place this is? Someone asked to be returned right away. Well, it looks like the other players didn't have the right to choose either. This system has quite radical methods, however. Wang Huan asked the goddess's sister to ask a question. The girl said that he could ask a question, but she was not a goddess. She is also one of the players. Her mission this time is to escort the hero to the testing site, to which Wang Huan said that. That is, she is their senpai. And he asked her to tell him what would happen if she failed the tests. Will it be possible to exit the game? The girl replied that since this was a survival game, they would not be able to get out of here, they could not have any contact with the outside world. However, in between completing the dungeon, they can return to their private space to relax. His personal space is where he is now. Wang Quan thought that there was nothing he could do about the setting, but being trapped in such a small space, wasn't it already too much? The girl asked him not to worry. Most of the dungeons don't pose much of a threat to his life. For example, upcoming trials. Wang Quan's reward will depend on how he performs. He must remember the task to accumulate points, and these glasses can be used to expand his personal space, serve as a means of exchange and also help him create his personal paradise. But most importantly, with their help, Wang Huan can become stronger. Equipment, technology, outstanding servant abilities, miracles and even life. Here, Wang Huan can get everything he wants, and at the same time become stronger. But this is a high-level award. Even this girl doesn't have them yet, it's just for demonstration. Wang Huan, as a beginner, is given three random F-rank cards. Among them are various abilities and equipment, so that he can get acquainted with how everything works here as soon as possible. Skills and abilities can be mastered immediately, and equipment will be stored in the inventory. You can find out more by calling the personal dashboard. Pointing at the map, Wang Huan asked, what is his new ability? He would never have thought that he would be able to meet something like this. Meanwhile, the girl announced the start of the game. Now Wang Huan realized that the world is huge and much more interesting than he could have imagined before. Well, then a message came that player F233 was disabled. Has Wang Huan returned to the real world? But is it possible? But wait a minute, this, the system told him to connect within 10 minutes, otherwise the mission would fail. Next, a panel called Unlimited Possessions popped up. Number, Temporary Player Number F233. Status, Testing is temporarily disabled. The remaining time is 9 minutes and 52 seconds. He has zero friends and only one loaded ability. 
Wang Quan wondered if his abilities could also be used in real life. Poking at the loaded ability panel, his charging ability was highlighted. This ability consumes spiritual energy and emits a weak electric charge when it comes into contact with an object. Note this is diverse in functionality, used for household needs. The continent of the Northern Feather, an area inhabited by a huge number of evil spirits. The players are a bunch of amateur adventurers who came here to destroy the goblin. However, the goblin cuts off their escape routes, luring them into their lord's lair. It looks like the hunter and the prey have switched places. Dungeon testing for new players, Goblin Slayer. Main tasks, destroy the goblin lair. Reward for completing the task. Depending on the success of the player, he can be awarded a score from 1 to 10. Time limit, 1 hour. The specifics of the universe. A team of goblins will move in their direction at the same speed, and its location can be tracked on the map. Players should not let themselves be caught. The Heroic Bronze 5. As novice adventurers, they are brave and persistent. Their physical characteristics have been improved by the system. Player number 234 has joined the system. Wang Huan said that as soon as the waiting time ran out, he was reconnected by the system itself. Of course, he would not have been allowed to completely disconnect and return to the real world. He wasn't even allowed to take some things with him. Seeing Goblin Revenge, Yuan hid himself, thinking that, apparently, too much would be turned on from the game, and the team had already advanced far enough. In such games, even a couple of minutes of absence can completely change the situation. In principle, waiting for the end of the game in offline mode is also an option. However, it is impossible to observe what is happening, as well as the progress of other players. Wang Quan attacked the goblin and took him out with one kick, saying that, of course, the exam for beginners should not be difficult. Goblins are monsters with a childish build. People just need to overcome their fear and start a battle. So, the matter will remain small. It will not be difficult to win. What can I say about real masters who have received professional training? Wang Quan was preparing to attack the new monster, but the goblin turned out to have a weapon. Seeing the goblin with the weapon, Wang Quan shouted that he was already leaving. Leaving? What was it? Why does a goblin use guns and ride motorcycles in this world? Shouldn't they be walking around with sticks and throwing stones? But the main goal is to destroy the goblins, right? But how is Wang Quan supposed to do it with his bare hands? So, this quest was created specifically to train players to use internal abilities and equipment. Opening his inventory, Wang Quan saw three Fahrenheit rank cards there. One it was a projectile, two a sharp eye, three a beginner's bomb. But wait a minute, these are not the cards that were given to him then. After reconnecting to the game, Wang Quan realized that when he reconnected to the game, his location remained the same. And opening the inventory, he said that since the temporary account number had been changed, accordingly, all information linked to the previous account was being reset. The inventory is also changing. All this must be due to the fact that Wang Huan was disconnected from the system, and she considered him dead, so the account was immediately demolished. That is, he can reconnect many times to be regarded by the system as joining a new player. Wang Huan thinks that this is a kind of gift for beginners and in the future this will not be possible. Using a burst of vitality, Wang Huan smashed all the goblins. And again, I reconnected to the game many times to change my inventory. And it works, he just needs to stick to this strategy. He will pass this exam 100% and thus ensure a flawless start in this game. Dungeon testing for new players, Goblin Slayers, an underground valley. The temperature is 21 degrees, windless. The remaining time is 27 minutes 53 seconds. Player number 151 Shen Yuji, after treating his partner, asked her if she would be able to walk. Player number 47 Yu Shan thanked him and said that everything had literally healed his eyes. It was one of the items that he got, wasn't it? Well, what should I do if Shen Yuji himself needs this item? Shen Yuz replied that he didn't care, because it was just a lousy game. If he died, he still had to be reborn. Player number 211 Yang Mai said that the only question is, is there such a daredevil among them that can confirm this hypothesis? Who will change to kill themselves to find out for sure if they will be reborn again in their personal space? Shen Yuji said that there was such an attempt. One man fell off a cliff, and the other disappeared and wanted to observe the further course of events. However, he also disappeared. Accordingly, no one has been able to confirm or refute this hypothesis. Yang Mai said it was nonsense. It was a dungeon and a beginner's test. Yu Shan said that being dragged into all this is not out of the blue. She can't say it's fair. If it wasn't for them, she would have just stayed here to live out her last moments. Shen Yuji asked, what should they do? The further they advance, the more likely they are to encounter stronger monsters, so they can really die. Yang Mai said that's not the point, and the essence of the mission itself, because it was said that this is an expedition to destroy, but whatever it really is, the main purpose of what is happening is to teach. Players must survive in these conditions. Do they really just need to find a suitable place and wait for the end of their allotted time for the mission? After all, they don't have a single clue. After lighting up, 
Shen Yuji said that they really needed to risk their lives just to complete this stupid mission. It even sounds silly. Yu Shan asked what they meant. That they would really never be able to go back. Then a goblin attacked the girl from behind. Two guys tried to save her. But it was too late if it wasn't for Wang Huan, who was able to save her. Shen Yuji asked that it was the player who was not found near the cliff at that time, wasn't it? So he's still alive. Yang Mai said that he rushed into battle. Did the hero understand the true essence of this mission? Shen Yuji added that Wang Huan does not even worry about death, does not think about the future, but boldly rushes forward, putting everything he has on the line. His agility is really incredible. Yang Mai said that. So Wang Huan intends to do this in order to gather the necessary information and make the right judgments. It requires incredible determination. Yu Shan said it looked like it was player number 1985 Wang Huan, about to quit the game. Wang Huan said that the combination of light boots, a scroll of rapid movement and a high-speed push was simply unbearable. However, this is too much for the human body. It is already at the limit and needs to be replaced urgently. It's just that it's, were there other players? Time is running out, they're hanging out there. They don't seem to be able to compete with him, so you can forget about them. After the thousandth update, Familiar cards began to be issued. It seems that the set of f rank cards is not so diverse. The inventory capacity is 120 out of 120. The value of the upper capacity limit has long been exceeded, so it's pointless to keep cleaning it all. It's just that the hero has to clean up the Turk and that's the end of it. But after that they will go to the boss. However, judging by the background, it will be difficult to cope with him as a beginner. When Wang Quan enters the progress game, the mission is reset and killing mobs is pointless. After all, they need bigger fish to get a good reward. Well, okay, just one battle in the dungeon trials will be completed. Rank F scroll, sudden appearance of heroes. Sudden appearance in front of the enemy in the best light buff. Within one minute after activation, plus 10% to the effect of any attribute from the inventory. Wang Quan came to the goblin lord with a sword. And the goblin himself was armed with a powerful firearm. I expected this hero. F rank weapon, the reverse effect after the player has claimed from the defensive stance, the damage that is directed at him will be reversed, turning the subject of the attack into his object. Rank F ability, forced action the target must complete the previously started action. The damage from the Goblin Lord's bullets was very strong, but fortunately, Wang Huan has good supplies. We need to finish off the Goblin Lord. But then those three came to the rescue. They shouted at Wang Huan to hold on, because they had come to his aid. Yang Mai asked. What is the boss that needs to be destroyed in order for the mission to be considered completed? How did the hero understand this? When the hero saw these three, he shouted at them to wait and not approach. To which they replied that Wang Huan should not worry, because they are not afraid of death and will not leave a friend in trouble. Wang Huan thought that he needed to get this over with quickly, because these three must want to leave him with nothing. The F rank card has the opposite effect. The sharpened blade is sharp, but it wears out easily. After the player takes a defensive stance, the damage that is directed at him will be reversed, turning into the subject of the attack into his object. Similar to use, it significantly wears out the blade. Notes, inspired by the blade from Star Wars, the system said that a friend was requesting access to a personal space. Zio Zai's Invisible Wars 28 HP level, 100%. Spiritual power, 100%. Zio Zai asked, how are you? The girl replied that she had already found the dragon and thought she could defeat it. Zio Zai said that she wasn't talking about that. She was asking about those newcomers that the girl had selected. The girl said that they couldn't die anyway. What kind of problems can there be? More than a hundred people in 23 dungeons should be finished soon. Zio Zai said that doesn't the girl think she's trying too hard? She may be a guide, but still, why pay for each newbie's resurrection? What does the girl want to achieve with this? The girl said that in such conditions she does not seem to be able to adapt to the situation. Most people will simply die before they come to their senses. Therefore, the death rate of the dungeon for beginners is quite high. But they just came to them. Why not help them a little? One rebirth is worth 10 points. Even if each of them dies, only 1000 will come out once. Oh, to which Sayo Zai said that the girl does not take into account the expansion of the game space. It all looks just fine. No one needs these magnificent landscapes in the midst of a battle. Then the girl asked what was wrong with the fact that she loves beautiful landscapes. Zio Zai said that okay, if the girls are happy about it, then everything is fine. Zio Zai came to ask about the D-rank artifacts that are needed to move to level 30. Girl, did you prepare everything? Our girl replied that she had more than 30,000 points, everything would be fine. But after looking at my glasses, it turned out that there were only 2,333 left. Zio Zai, who was angry, said that on Sunday the newcomers were worth 28,000 points. How many did the girl bring? Did they all die there 100 times? Falling into despair, the girl said that it was just a dream, everything was fine. She'll just die, and everything will be fine. Meanwhile, Wang Quan completed his mission. 
Dungeon and New Player Testing, Goblin Slayer. Main Task, Destroy the Goblin Lair, 100%. The received colon points are 10. The Widow's Secret Mission is to destroy the Goblin Lord. It's done. Points received, 15. And God received one divine box. Wang Huan said that there was an additional reward due to the boss. It was a good thing he had enough supplies. And he didn't let those three take away his glasses. Yu Shan then asked why there was an inscription stating that the mission was completed. Shen Yuzhen said that the time hadn't run out yet. And Yang Mai said that's it. So the murder in was the key moment. Player number 2795 has completed the novice dungeon quest and is returning to his personal space. Wang Huan was congratulated on successfully completing the beginner dungeon quest and he received a permanent account. Player's name, Wang Quan. The levels report is running. Wang Quan was awarded level 1. After hearing about the permanent account, the hero was very upset because it looks like the freebie is over. But this is the so-called personal space, which is too shabby. The system said that players can expand into its personal space the price per square meter is 1 point. You can also purchase a huge number of pieces of furniture, decor, variations, landscapes and more. Everything is in order to make the players stay in the game as comfortable as possible. The hero said that this was nonsense. Why would he spend precious points on this if he could quit the game at any time? Of course, he'd rather spend it on getting stronger. Well, how to do it? Where is the shop? Wang Quan connected the guide. He greeted Xiao Zai and said that he had become an official player without the boundary domain of the gods. Xiao Zai is here to help the hero figure out the exchange system. The first thing Wang Quan asked Xiao Zai was that they had another guide, didn't they? Zai Ozai said that there were some problems with this. In general, she will tell Wang Huan how to use the points earned. Bonus points are an exchange currency in the domain of the gods, and they can be used to expand personal space, purchase items to enhance existing abilities and equipment, exchange for resurrecting dungeons with deadly tasks, and much more. The most basic thing is that the hero can buy gift boxes, but the level of its contents directly depends on his level, since the hero of the new player will only be able to open the box of the first rank. Wang Huan asked that it was a lottery, so he couldn't buy upgrades for his abilities and equipment. Xiao 11 said that this was true, but if Wang Huan was lucky enough to draw a card of her rank, he would be able to play as comfortably as possible in the early stages. Of course, he has just completed the novice dungeon mission, so he may have less than 10 points on his hands. Wang Huan should improve his personal space by sharing. Comprehensive monthly existence packages, complete missions in other earths to get more points. After that, the girl said that the water course was over. Wang Quan thanks Xi Ozai for the explanation. And then it passed to Wang Quan that the rest of the players did not even have 10 points. But with his 25, as well as with a bunch of items and F rank, his start in this game will be perfect. All these bastards are for real players. Now we need to think about what subject he wants to improve. Wang Quan decided to try his luck just once, but he was unlucky, and I decided to spend it again. He was given equipment of her rank. The system said that this is a special reward. He needs to select one card to continue. Wang Quan said that calmly you need to choose wisely. Similarly, he can simply exit the game, wait for the next notification from the system, and then choose one of the cards based on the situation. The system notified that the user, Wang Quan, is offline. Attention, Wang Quan must return to the system within 12 hours. Returning to reality. Wang Quan thought that it was almost noon, now that he had an official account. He could be offline for quite a long time. There was nothing to worry about. Suddenly, the boss came up to Wang Huan and asked if he was really sleeping in the workplace. Wang Huan asked his boss that he wanted something. Boss Liu said that, of course, he wanted to. But the boss himself thought that he had managed to catch Wang Huan, the perfect intern. Today, Boss Liu is going to show him what real hell is like. But then his secretary ran up to Boss Liu and called out to him. Boss Liu asked, Well, what else? Can't you see that he's busy? The secretary said that the heads of the head office here have a lot of people with him. They came to check and are already on the way. Wang Quan thought that he was only interested, he couldn't leave it like that. Meanwhile, the man who met Lin Xiao said that they did not expect him at all. Did the board of directors give the appropriate instructions? Lin Xiao said that no, this is not a scheduled inspection. When Lin Xiao came to Liu's boss, he saw that he was swearing at Wang Huan, telling him to get out since he was fired. Boss Liu also asked Mr. Wang Huan if he was surprised, if he was sorry. Does Wang Quan want to get down on his knees and beg Boss Liu to change his mind? In recent months, the rapid rise of the company is due to Wang Quan. He has excellent university recommendation. Wang Quan is so capable that people from the head office are interested in him. So what if he, Mr. Liu, could have reached the current level thanks to his cunning and greed? He has appropriated most of Wang Quan's merits for himself, but this will not change anything, because now Boss Liu has caught Wang Quan on his own mistakes and can deservedly throw him out of here. 
the director or those idiots from the head office. Boss Liu absolutely does not care what they say about this, because he has the last word here. But when Boss Liu turned around, he saw Lin Xiao. Boss Liu began to bow, saying that he was just joking and such a prank, and he hopes they all enjoyed it. Lin Xiao got into the car and told the driver that they had finished here and could move out. As a result, Liu's boss was fired. Wang Quan would be very happy to say that this ability is of F rank. He had achieved his goal so easily, and he already had a rather complicated long-term plan in his head. Now Wang Quan has become the CEO, instead of Boss Liu, in accordance with his initial plan. Next comes the conquest of human hearts, achieving even more outstanding results. However, Wang Quan is not interested in this right now. Real life pales against the background of the game, where Wang Quan has unlimited possibilities and can travel to different worlds. And then the weekend comes, so he can afford to play all night. The biggest advantage in moving up the career ladder is his office, so Wang Quan won't have to worry about being lost. That he might lose face in front of his colleagues if he played a little too much. And the first thing I decided to do was look for all three players who can't leave the game. He typed into the search engine a collective coma or sudden death of a large number of people, and I found on the internet that the student lost consciousness two months ago. Wang Huan recognized her as the girl who had tried to take away his award. The student lost consciousness after she received first aid. Yu Shan has gone missing. Hospitals across the city said that no patients matching the description had been admitted to the hospital. But the video did not load further and an announcement was posted that the video was no longer available or had never existed. He can watch something else. Then those doctors burst into Wang Huan's office. The secretary tried to stop them, but it was useless. But the CEO has already left, observing everything from the sidelines. Wang Huan said that he takes back his words, because reality can also be interesting. Linjiang University In the real world, there are knowledgeable people who are responsible for sending new players to the system. However, Wang Huan does not know everything in detail yet. After all, any wrong step will only increase the risk for him. The fact is that these people absolutely do not want to be revealed. The session is approaching, so the library's packed study hall should be a pretty safe place. Therefore, the students will become his cover. Well, then something happened that he did not expect. The people next to Wang Huan began to gather together, who said that he had just remembered that he already had to run. Another said he couldn't remember if he had turned off the washing machine, so he definitely needed to check. And even people were bustling at the neighboring tables. The man said that this is a monster who studies three specialties at once and gets maximum points for all the tests. Is it really Wang Huan? Didn't he go on an internship? What was he doing here again? The girl said that next to him she absolutely cannot concentrate. It feels like she's going to commit a terrible sin if she takes a five-minute break. He feels like an insect capable of nothing. Someone suggested that why don't they go back to the room and play. But Wang Huan tried to stop them, telling them to wait and not run away, because today he also did not come to study. The girl sitting opposite Wang Huan, whose name is Lin Lin, was asked if she would stay too. But the girl hesitated. Wang Huan thought that it would be very bad if he was left alone, so he had no choice, and used a compulsory action card. And Lin Lin immediately said that she would, because she had to finish the report no matter what. The girl herself was shocked by what she had just said. Wang Huan told her that yes, they would try together. And I thought that this ability is simply incredible. In the real world, you can even control other people. However, the primary task now is, Wang Huan must gain new abilities and build a unique security system for himself. Now it's time to launch the game. When entering the game, the system suggested Wang Huan to choose one of the suggested options. Easy, normal, difficult and very difficult. The system welcomes the player to the limitless domain of the gods and asks him to choose the desired difficulty level, according to which the system will select a suitable dungeon for him. Wang Huan should also pay attention that the reward of a dungeon directly depends on its difficulty. Wang Huan said that choosing the difficulty level is interesting. If you think logically, then as a beginner it will be more rational to make a choice in favor of an easy level. This way he will be able to familiarize himself with the gameplay and become more knowledgeable in various aspects. However, he doesn't have time for these childish activities right now. The system notified Wang Huan that the player's level was level 1. Difficulty level, very difficult. The selection is completed. He was offered the Bloody Tower Dungeon. This cursed land where the devil goes hunting every night. Nine brave men broke into the castle in order to put an end to the outrages of evil spirits. However, the devil and his minions were already expecting the unfortunate ones. The brave men must destroy the demons from all. In turn, using periodic descending intensifying darkness, hunt down and kill the brave men. An ordinary pop, as the hero understands. The system started the game and found that the player had not collected the previously received rewards. Wang Huan must make a choice as soon as possible. He has three E-rank cards to choose from. One is called Lucky, two the Sacrificial Cloak, and three Canon N. 
After seeing these cards, Wang Huan said that, that is, he could not choose after the start of the game, and his cards remained the same. Now he no longer has such a beautiful bug. The sacrificial cloak causes OAE damage to the surrounding enemies. It sounds very tempting. However, in PvP mode, it is not the best choice. A happy maniac who can influence the probability of an event is a universal gizmo. However, Wang Huan no longer has artifacts in E-rank, and this coin is not something solid that can change the situation at a critical moment. Only the cannon remains, but in this dungeon it will be impractical to use it. Well, Wang Huan has a difficult choice. Lin Lin, who is sitting opposite Wang Huan, thought, what is he doing there? Why did she stay at all? And if she wants to leave, does she need to say anything to Wang Huan? She's too afraid to talk to people, but she's so embarrassed to be here. Should she say something like she has a stomachache and run away? The girl approached Wang Huan and asked that he was currently practicing listening, right? She's probably just going to get in his way, so. But then he just fell on top of her. Meanwhile, Wang Huan was lying on the bed in the game. And he asked what this castle was, in which evil spirits had settled, and they have good taste. The system welcomed him to the Bloodstained Tower and told him that his identity was a demon. Dungeon, the Bloody Tower. In this dungeon, there is a confrontation between two teams of nine players in total, six brave men and three demons. In the demon team, the main mission is the victory of the team. If at least one player from the team remains alive, the entire team is credited with victory. Reward. Each player of the winning team receives 50 points. And in case of loss, each player of the losing team will be forced to pay 50 points. Side quests. Survival. A gift box with F-rank artifacts. Kill. You need to kill other players to get 10 extra points. Exploration. For every 20% of the exploration of the territory, the player receives 10 additional points. I sent the dungeons, the blood moon and the bell. Every hour after the characteristic bell rings, a blood moon effect will be applied to all players. During this period, the brave will be deprived of one of the senses and related abilities. The combat power of the demons, in turn, will be greatly increased. After the end of the blood moon, all players can gather at the top of the tower and hold a meeting where justice will be done. After any of the players rings the bell of justice, the player who was voted out by the largest number of participants leaves the game. This tower is full of secrets and clues to reveal the identity of demons, a way to enhance demonic abilities, as well as special rewards. The player's eyes may deceive them, but their instincts never do. After reading the rules, Wang Huan realized that the rules were quite simple. The brave have no information about the identity of the demons, and they can only get a clue by exploring the tower. That is, not to let them do it, and is there a key to victory? Or is it just necessary to get all the brains into a meeting of justice? The rules also stated that before the start of the game, the demon players have three minutes to get to know each other. Liu Shengjin said that chosen by the darkness, they would crush the infidels together. Liu Shengjin is a fanatic. His strength level is 9 horsepower, 100%, spiritual powers, 100%. Zumayo said that they would have no problem showing them a good battle. But she asked, what is a newcomer doing here? Zumayo is a hurricane. Her level of 10 horsepower, 100%, spiritual powers, 100%. The girl, addressing Wang Huan, asked that he had just finished the education for beginners, right? How did he end up here? The team members should have approximately the same levels, at least seven. Wang Huan apologized, saying that he had simply chosen the last difficulty level in anticipation of a more diverse complex mission. Who would have thought that the selection should be based on the levels of the players? Zumayo said it was quite brave. The reward is really decent, but the cost of losing is high. As a beginner, he can't afford to play at all due to the fact that he won't be able to pay that much. A negative score is not fatal, but Wang Huan can get a bloody mark. So Wang Huan will not be protected by the system and may be seriously injured in the next mission. And when Wang Huan heard this, he thought that. That is, it is desirable to have points in reserve, so that in case of anything there would be no negative value. The guide, who also advised new players, forgot about such an important thing. What a stupid woman she is. Zumayo told Wang Huan to consider himself very lucky. The girl will show him what a real game is. Tyrant level 10 players. There are bosses in this dungeon. Liu Xingwan said that. Well, this time he would let Wang Huan enjoy the points he received thanks to his efforts. Wang Huan said he would try to keep up. Zumayo said that he has a good attitude. Wang Huan will be able to become a great player. But time is running out. They need to discuss the available information. Liu Xingwan said that the place where he is now is full of forbidden literature. It is completely useless to them, so he will destroy everything so that it does not fall into the hands of the opponent. The floor is catching a cold, so it must be somewhere on the upper floors. Zumayo said that she was in a torture chamber. The doors could not be opened from the window and could see the tower and the corridor. Wang Huan said that he is currently in the bedroom. The doors and windows are not opening. 
It is also impossible to break the glass, and he doesn't know if that will change when the game starts. Zumayo said that nothing should change outside the tower, but the doors will definitely open. The system will not allow other players to expose them immediately, so the players from the brave team should also be scattered in different rooms. Liu Xingwan said that the goddess of darkness was showing him that they would meet other players soon. However, the system will not allow them to have a one-sided advantage, staying in darkness forever. Zumayo said it was time to start. A beginner should at least try to protect himself. She and the guy will meet near the bell tower and follow the terrain. They should be collected and calm. The guy said they would be careful. Everything would be fine. Wang Huan said he understood them and would try his best too. After discussing the strategy, when everyone had dispersed, Wang Huan said that this was a high level of difficulty. These guys think and act rationally, have clear goals and plans to achieve them. Wang Quan thinks they can be relied upon, but it seems that the allotted time has already run out, so the doors had to open. Other players should also be in their positions. After leaving the room, Wang Quan said that this must be the corridor that Zhu Mayo had seen outside. As they expected, the brave men were already at their points in the other rooms. Wang Quan, as a beginner, should try hard, and they don't expect more from me. Anyway, those two looked pretty reliable. Wait for time and win without any losses. A big battle started here. After the battle, it was announced that during it, the player Liu Xinwan, the demon, was eliminated. Player He Zai Ocean, the brave one, is out. Player Zhu Mayo, the demon, is out. Seeing all this, Wang Huan asked what had just happened. The system also said that the remaining number of brave men is 5, and the demons are 1. The effect of the blood moon will occur in 57 minutes. Then Wang Huan met Yu Shan. She said they were the ones who met in the novice dungeon. Wang Quan waved at Yu Shan and said what a meeting. And he thought that these were incapable women who wanted to take away his laurels and awards. But wait a minute, her level is already two. The second level at first glance, the second level is only one level more than Wang Quan's. But on the other hand, level two is two times more than the first one. They started the game at the same time. Well, of course, while Wang Quan was relaxing in the real world, Yu Shan managed to find a way to quickly raise his level or discover a gap in the rules of the game. Well, or did you bribe the guide? She's just masquerading as a harmless girl, and she's probably a real monster who wants to become stronger and crush everyone in her path. This woman is a terrifying opponent. Yu Shan, walking towards Wang Huan, said that Wang Huan had only one level, and he had already decided to go to this dungeon. And Wang Huan himself, seeing the girl approaching him, said that she was coming here. Was she going to mock him? And Yu Shan asked that he, like her, must have drawn a lucky ticket. Wang Huan asked what she was talking about. Yu Shan, showing the map, said that artifacts that allow players to go through random dungeons. It is said that this is the easiest way to get rewards at low levels. After all, really enter a dangerous dungeon. If Yu Shan wasn't afraid to be in her personal space, she would hardly use them at all. Wang Quan, looking at the girl's cards, thought that it was true and such a useful thing. The lower the level, the higher the chance of getting it. In simple words, these are artifacts that were created in order to help a beginner raise his level faster. Yu Shan said that she can use it three times. The only problem is that you can get into a dungeon of any difficulty level. And last time it was a very easy mission. She came across kind companions who helped her complete the mission. And this time, a high difficulty dungeon was completed. Yu Shan was so nervous, but it all started off pretty well and she was very lucky. Yu Tong, one of the brave men who is a soldier at level 7, said that this was the bad luck he Zai Ocean was in their team. Who would have thought that he would be eliminated so quickly? Mao Yuan, also one of the brave ones, who is all at once at level 8, said that she knows him. He's a great guy. He always helps his team get extra rewards. Tony, also one of the brave ones who is a guardian at level 7, said that he had a chance to play with Hisai Ocean once. His title of researcher is indeed well deserved. In this kind of game, the most important thing was to figure out the identity of the demon, which Hisai Ocean had no equal in. Therefore, Sister Zhu Mayo decided to get rid of him at all costs. Wang Quan thought that was how it was. That idiot noticed that the help was coming too fast, so he decided to block their passage to buy some time. Mao Yuan said that there was nothing to be done about it, that the self-destruct technique was also quite frightening. She barely managed to dodge. Tony said he had to work hard to save her. Yu Tong said that fortunately, everything went well. Wang Quan realized that in this game, the personal qualities and individual abilities of each player are extremely important. In that case, those two really tried hard, and in order for their sacrifice not to be in vain, Wang Huan must act. However, what is the use of a level 1 player? A demon's ability. The effect of the blood moon in this case is inactive for Wang Huan, strengthening of all abilities by 150%. With Wang Huan's level, even with this buff, it will be difficult to get rid of anyone. Then the only way out is to explore the towers and maximize your abilities, and let others interrupt each other. Then Wang Quan decided to ask the brave men questions. 
that maybe they could be of some use to them. Yu Shan said that they have only been here recently, so they don't know what to do. Mao Yuan said that she even forgot that there were two newbies with them. Yu Tong told them to just explore the area and wait for the meeting, that's their whole task. Wang Quan said okay, as soon as he saw them fighting right away. I thought that the lack of their combat power would only limit the overall potential of the team, however, fortunately, everything ended in their favor. Tony said that indeed, this time there were two newcomers who could not possibly compete with the battle. But why did your demon decide to split up? Three against four is a pretty good deal. Wang Huan said, in other words, those two were pretty strong opponents and could only sacrifice themselves if they had some kind of trump card up their sleeve. That is, the remaining three demons must also be incredibly capable, strong enough to get rid of all the brave ones. Mao Yuan said it made sense. And pointing her finger at Yu Tong, she said that it was him, because with the strengthening of the blood moon, his abilities would be really incredible. Yu Tong said Tony didn't try to attack at all. That's what's really suspicious. And Tony said that if he were a demon, he wouldn't be saving someone. And Yu Shan said that the last demon is very strong, but who is it? Wang Huan thought that was great, because the worst scenario would be if they decided to work together. So doubt has already settled in the heart of each of them. This significantly increases his chances of success. But then some guy threw Wang Huan aside. Yu Shan asked who did it. Yu Tong said he could assume that this was the last demon. Tony said it was 3 to 1. A similar game is over. This guy turned out to be Lin Yalo. He is a level 9 golem, and he said that if he were a demon, he and Zumayo would have dealt with them a long time ago. A bunch of scum are going after some newbie. The last demon is this kid who has level 1. It's obvious, he can't fight himself, so the only way out is to fill the brains of the rest. Meanwhile, Yu Shan approached Wang Huan and asked if he was okay. She had a first aid kit with her. Wang Huan thanked Yu Shan and said that he had it too and would return the first aid kit to the girl later. And he told everyone that even if he were a demon, what's the point of him doing all this? Even if there are only two people on the final vote. But Wang Huan did not have time to finish, as Lin Yao grabbed him and told him to keep quiet, because they did not give him a word. Mao Yuan freed Wang Huan. Wang Huan thanked her and thought that if this continued, he would not be able to continue acting on his original plan. Remaining HP, 11%. Why doesn't this Lin Yao just kill Wang Huan? His one attack took away more than half of his HP, but this time he was definitely holding back. Yu Tong, he said that quite all of them were once beginners, you need to behave like that. Tony said it was just a game. And who knows, maybe we'll get to play together again in the future. Wang Quan thought that Lin Yao was not sure. That is, if he kills him, who may still be one of the brave men, then it is better to attack him with the rest. It may seem that the brave team has an advantage, but in the game it does not matter at all. Judging by his temperament, he prefers to act alone, but he has to come to terms with the present state of affairs. He is not like the players who have already come to terms with the in-game system and the principles on which everything functions here. Lin Yao is different from those who really consider this game to be just a game. This person really wants to win and wants to be a winner no matter what. Wang Quan said there was no point in hanging around here. Why don't they split up and explore the tower? Wasn't there a mention at the beginning of the game that there were extra rewards scattered everywhere? Mao Yuan said that it would be much easier to kill them one at a time, and the player from the demon team will definitely hide the clues he found. Wang Huan said it didn't matter, they needed to split up into two. But Lin Yao interrupted him, saying that everyone would keep an eye on their partner when the blood moon started, they needed to stay together, in order to make sure that their partner, like him, cannot move in the dark. So he will reveal himself by starting to act, or they will be able to find clues and safely eliminate him. And as this newbie said, this is the most appropriate course of action. Mao Yuan approached Yu Shan and asked if she wanted to hug. They're partners now, aren't they? Yu Shan asked if it was necessary. Tony told Yu Tong that he would take care of the second rookie then. But Wang Huan said that he wanted to go with Lin Yao. Wang Huan can't fight at all, and he's the strongest here. Wang Huan is going to put his life on the line in this game so that they will find out which team he is playing for. Otherwise, he might decide to target one of the strongest, as soon as the blood moon sets foot on it. Wang Yao said it was very interesting. Thus, the girls explore the fourth floor. Wang Quan, along with Lin Yao, follows the second and third floors. And Yu Tong and Tony follow the first floor in the lobby. Fourth floor, Mao Yuan said that was it really the guy who set himself on fire. What a pity, there would surely be a lot of clues to be found in such a place. Yu Shan said they were told they could find clues about the identity of the demons, but what could it be? Will they know the name? Mao Yuan asked Yu Shan that she was older than her, right? A girl can call her Mao Mao. In fact, she herself has visited no more than 10 dungeons. Mao understands that Yu Shan may be unusual for now, but very soon she will realize how cool this game is. Since they're here anyway, why not make the most of it? As for the clues, according to her experience, it could be this or that thing that starts reacting when a demon is nearby. 
Yu Shan asked. Is there something to look for certain artifacts? Then someone appeared behind Yu Shan. But Mao Yuan quickly eliminated him and said that this dungeon seemed unusual from the very beginning. It looks like these things are set up here as traps. But the difficulty level of the dungeon is not very high, so there shouldn't be too many of them. Well, at least they won't cause much damage. Second floor. Lin Yao said it was strange. Because in the beginning there were those crazed rats in the dining room, then the jumping chest, and now the animated armor. How many traps are there? And Wang Huan said, go ahead, brother Lai is the best. Angry, Lin Yao asked Wang Huan, what, where are his brains? Why is he standing so far away? Wang Huan thought that the most important thing for him right now was to protect him. If he accidentally dies in the process of following, and it turns out that Wang Huan was a beginner, all suspicions will be directed at Lin Yao. He understands this perfectly well. Lin Yao asked Wang Huan that he wasn't going to fall into one of the traps on purpose. Wang Huan said that how could he think like that? Even if he wanted to, he couldn't possibly know where they were placed. It's just a coincidence that the hero doesn't even know why he's so unlucky. Lin Yao said that the newcomers only have useless F-rank abilities, so the demon is really one of those three. Wang Huan thought that it was great that he could use this thing forever, activating all the mechanisms that would only fall within its range. Wang Huan doesn't even need to fight, he can just hide. This tower should be full of artifacts that will help him become stronger. But wait a minute, the tower is a place of demons. Wang Huan remembers that the description stated that the brave ones losing this group of people who came here to fight the demon. Then why is there a bell in the demon lair at all? Justice to condemn the demons themselves. Game time, 49. Time to one blood moon. 11 minutes. The justice meeting will be held soon. Number of players, 6. Laundry room. At the laundry, Wang Huan said that it takes quite a long time to search the entire second floor. It took about an hour. While rummaging through the laundry, Wang Huan finally found something useful. It was a scroll. The plot artifact is a diabolical contract. The one who found it must obey his desire and pay for greed. Wang Huan wondered what you would pay the price for. So this is a deal with the devil? Not to be caught in ore. But Lin Yao stopped him, telling Wang Huan to give him this ingot. Wang Huan asked, is this even fair? Wang Huan had already given the previous three fines to Lin Yao, which was at least ugly on his part. Lin Yao told him not to make him repeat it twice, otherwise he would just break Wang Huan's legs and drag him along. Wang Huan handed him the scroll, and Lin Yao said that if Wang Huan is really who he claims to be, then he has nothing to worry about. Lin Yao will protect him and lead their teams to victory. And now they should move on, because there is still a little time left to explore the third floor, and Wang Huan must remember that he must be in Lin's field of vision. Wang Huan thought that this was not an easy task, but at least he managed to deflect suspicion from himself and stopped worrying about what might get a stab in the back from Lin Yao. But under Lin Yao's close supervision, Wang Huan is left with no room for maneuver. The lucky coin is fully charged, so the hero cannot continue to use it. Is there anything going wrong? He'll notice right away. Third floor, Wang Huan said that the two of them managed to have a good frolic here. At the beginning of the game, there was a hole in the wall. Lin Yao said that he needed to look around. When Wang Huan entered the torture chamber, he thought that Zhu Maio was here and that the man she had killed should have appeared from one of the neighboring rooms. As soon as they met, a fight immediately broke out. Seeing how much junk there was, Lin Yao said that how could anyone find anything in this chest of rubble here? They don't have much time, so they need to check the next room and find a place to wait out the blood moon. Guest Bedroom Upon entering the guest bedroom, Wang Huan said that it was a bedroom, but not as luxurious as on the second floor. But wait, is there a room next to the torture chamber? But it is inferior to her in size, so there must be a niche somewhere here. After finding the entrance to Lin Yao's secret room, he told Wang Huan to shut up because he didn't need his hints. Wang Huan should follow him and not try to do anything. Upon entering this room, Wang Huan realized that it was a sacrificial altar. It was very dark here. But wait a minute. Is this room under the effect of the blood moon? Wang Huan is only seen here because he plays for the demon team. In fact, Lin Yao doesn't see anything at all, but he will pretend in order to take Wang Huan by surprise and catch him. If Wang Huan had not managed to realize this in time, he would have killed him immediately. Wang Huan must not relax for a minute, but he came up with something. He shouted to Lin Yao to help him, because he was attacked by something, there is something here. And Wang Huan himself thought that Lin Yao was to blame for giving the hero complete freedom of movement, and he kept shouting at the line to save him, because he was going to die now. He can't see anything. Where is the exit here? Lin Yao told him that if he couldn't see anything, then why was he running around the room? Let him come here. Meanwhile, Wang Huan received a new artifact, the Code of Demons. Lin Yao quickly dealt with all the animals that Wang Huan had created. Wang Huan thanked him. Lin Yao was very angry and told the hero that if he continued to fool around and make him waste his abilities, he would slap him. Wang Huan apologized and said that it was just so dark there. That's why he panicked. 
He's only recently been in this game, so there's nothing you can do. Seeing Yu Tong and Tony downstairs, Wang Huan said that the same two who explored the first floor, should they say hello to them? Lin Yao replied that no, because the blood moon was about to begin, so he needed to stay away from the others. They still need to find a place where they can wait it out. Security room. There is one minute left before the effect of the blood moon. Lin Yao said that this was a great place. They could stay here for a long time, just lock the door leading to the punishment cell. If they are attacked, the security room is the best choice, regardless of what they decide to do, fight back or defend themselves. Wang Quan said it was really a good place, and she looked into the distance, said that the others must be hiding somewhere there. Lin Yao told him how to know if their brains hadn't completely melted yet, then yes, in their right mind. No one would run in full view of a demon, especially while the blood moon effect is in effect. Wang Quan thought that he had only approximate information about the whereabouts of the other players. It seems that everything will depend only on his luck. Well, it's time for him to start. Approaching Wang Quan, Lin Yao asked what he was doing here. Is he really waiting for his demon to swat him? Wang Quan said he was waiting for Lin Yao to make sure that this room was completely safe. No matter what happens, so this, like the previous one, will be full of demonic circles. Lin Yao guessed everything, and tried to slap Wang Huan, asking that he understood that it was a demonic circle. Wang Huan said that, of course, it was just a guess. Lin Yao continued to attack him, and said that F rank's abilities were just childish things that could not harm him. There is no point in resisting Wang Huan, so this is a real player the demon controls him. What will Wang Huan get in return? Did they somehow manage to get in touch while they were in that dark room? Let Wang Huan tell Lin Yao who he is following. Wang Huan let go of the handrail and began to fall down. During the flight, he thought that after the groups were formed, that girl immediately decided to leave for the upper floor. But Lin Yao wouldn't mind at least on the second and third floor. They are most vulnerable and protected from long-range attacks, which is not his specialty. But Wang Quan, I must admit that Lin Yao is also quite powerful in the long distance. The blood moon has come. The brave men were swallowed up by his darkness, thereby granting the demon's strength. Wang Quan said that everything was finally ready. And using the coin for luck, Wang Quan tried to get inside through the cobblestones, but his blade was damaged. Lin Yao was very angry and asked that there was no notification from the system that Wang Quan had died. He's going to wait for the end of the blood moon and kill him. First floor, living room. After falling to the ground, Wang Quan said that he had survived. Fortunately, he has a lot of artifacts and backgrounds that can be useful in situations like this. At the moment, the remaining number of F-rank artifacts is 72. Initially, Wang Huan thought of using the lucky coin at the justice meeting to change the outcome of the vote. However, it seems that this coin may be much more useful than Wang Huan could have imagined. He really hopes that his luck can really play a crucial role, make events move in the direction he needs. First floor, Tony, trying to get rid of the stones piled on him, said that the last demon was definitely Lin Yao. Yu Tong said that they should retreat, because in the dark they would not be able to fight back the demon. First floor, storage room. Wang Quan said that in order to avoid being accidentally injured in this mess, he needed to temporarily retreat. The system said that he completed the Dungeon Territory Exploration Quest, and he is credited with 20% plus. Wang Quan decided to take advantage of this time to get the story awards. The remaining time of the Blood Moon is 4 minutes 37 seconds. The Underground Courtyard Wang Quan put on his armor and walked along the road. On the way, he was attacked by a monster, but Wang Quan easily dealt with him. After taking off his helmet, Wang Huan said that all the monsters in this quest are sick. Okay, even that clay skeleton monsters. But even this demon decided to attack him unarmed on the sly. Is it because even by covering his beautiful face, he can't hide his gentle and kind nature? These monsters judge a book by its cover. The Scarecrow Room Wang Huan said that this dumb quest doesn't even have a friend or foe identification. If it wasn't for the help of the Blood Moon Force and these armor with artifacts, it's unlikely that Wang Huan would have broken through. The time of the blood moon is over and the buff is gone too. It's good that Wang Huan has already killed all the monsters. If he is lucky, then everyone on earth is fighting together now, and no one will remember about the unfortunate traveler who is digging into the plot of the game. Even if success makes the other participants angry, Wang Huan will still have a task that he will not be able to solve, he does not have enough strength. According to the rules of this quest, it is necessary to evaluate all the brave men, and if Wang Huan wants to win, then he must at least eliminate one person by challenging him to a duel. With the help of the Blood Moon buff, those bulky armor and F-level items, Wang Huan can fight different monsters. But if he gets lucky with the same method against other players, he will die. These brutal killers will definitely bring him to his grave. Therefore, the only way to win is to get as many power-up bonuses as possible in this quest. The system announced that the Hall of Sacrifice has been discovered, plus 20% to the exploration of the map. 
Wang Quan said that this thing should be here somewhere. Then he will restore the contract. If this item is activated, then all the demons immediately give away the offense. It's also good that the hero is hidden in this dark room. If some daredevil takes it, then it's all over. Activating the book of the hero of the video. A large demon and several small ones who bowed to him and said that they would do everything possible to kill him. The rest of the companions to show their devotion to the realm of the dead. And that the main demon said that their main task was to anoint the blood. Defiled Golden Bell of Justice. After completion, he will reward them with the ability to summon the Blood Moon once. She will be able to give them extra strength. Wang Quan said that these were additional missions. If he could summon the Blood Moon for it, then it would be just fine. Additional Mission, Desecrated Blood. The task of the colon is to anoint the Golden Bell with excluded blood from the underground blood pond. The blood coverage area should be at least 50%. Reward. A one-time summon to the Blood Moon while using this power. The reward's attributes of demonic players are double, but still, the hero decided to abandon this quest. Then the enraged demon told him that he was ready to accept his death. This is the price of betrayal. Wang Huan said that this whole tower is their territory. It looks like the bad blood has been ready for a long time too. It will be easier for them to destroy that golden bell. And I thought that's how it turns out. The quest in this game can go deeper. Wang Huan told the demon that if they wanted to start a war between demons and humans, it was very strange to give him demons that were useful to him. Up to the point that all the demons inside the tower will be constantly participating in the assault. Besides, he doesn't sign any contract with him, so he wants to put all the blame on the hero. Apparently, this watch belongs to someone the demon himself would not dare to fight. And he can assume that this is his supervisor. The demon said that the man is very smart, but what's with the fact that he guessed? Wang Quan said that, apparently, their subordinates mostly live here. They make deals with people in various ways to get their souls. The discovery of the Golden Bell has hindered their activities, which is why they want to get rid of it. The demon said that it was true that those who did not comply with the terms of the contract killed him and his relatives with the help of a bell. Then Wang Huan said that in fact, the demon does not have to use such backward methods to get souls. He just needs to find his own unique path, strengthen the channels of energy accumulation. The real value will change then. Using its own levers, the demon will be able to find the area in which it will be. Strong, he needs to open an unknown field of activity to anyone. In short, Wang Quan knows how to help the demon collect more souls. He introduced himself to the demon and said that he would become his best subordinate. The demon has only to set a goal for him, he will lead him to success. And the demon will only have to make a small investment. The demon said it was interesting. What did he want? More power or a position in the underworld? If it works well. But Wang Quan interrupted him, saying that he could hardly discuss the award until he showed the result. He only asks this in order to better serve the demon. And Wang Quan asks to introduce him to the owner of the Golden Bell. And I thought, in order to make a deal, the hero needs to find the strongest of them. The system said that the charge of the Golden Ear of Justice is full and when the appearance of the Blood Moon begin. The guardhouse, Lin Yao, who called Wang Quan names, said that he decided to make fun of him. Now he's going to tell Wang Quan who's in charge here. And at the same time, the guy who is hiding behind the scenes. But when Lin Yao left the room, he was shot. It was Yu Tong. He said that shooting at a target provoked a one-time ability to defend oneself. The trajectory of the bullet was distorted. The bullet hit the target's arm. Lenin told him that his pawn had let himself be discovered, and he decided to show himself. Then he's going to die now. A fight broke out between them. Fourth floor, main hall. Lin Yao told Yu Tong not to hide and to let them finish this battle. But Mao Yuan tried to attack him, but the line managed to dodge. Who didn't say that he revealed his identity during the blood moon? There's no point in pretending anymore. Lin Yao fell into a trap. He activated the Road of Repentance ability and thus stuck to the floor. He asked, what is this E-level magic? But then Mao Yuan hit him, saying that he had cut her and this was payback for that unexpected attack. Lin Yao asked what they were carrying. When had he attacked her unexpectedly? No wonder Wang Huan was constantly interested in the position of the others. Besides, the beginning of the Blood Moon appeared at the very last moment. It was that new guy who messed with his head, made him attack them in the dark, and this freak dared to outwit him. Yu Tong said that in a situation where nothing was visible, Lin Yao decided to storm them on the abum, guided only by a theoretical plan of attack. Lily wasn't very lucky that he stumbled upon their hiding place, right? Tony said that Lin Yao was also aiming so well. If it wasn't for his self-defense magic, Tony would have been gone. And this is what Lin calls luck. Mao Yuan said that even though Lin Yao didn't have a good moment to get him, he himself said that his target was that new guy. Isn't this new guy missing? If there is no evidence that he died, then the case is closed. Therefore, Lin Yao didn't have time to chase after them. This new guy did a good job. That laziness couldn't stand it and told everyone that since they suspected him, the golden bell was already loaded anyway. Why don't they get up and ring the bell? And don't attack him. 
and then use those stone coins at the top of the tower, and they can do everything at once. Tony asked that if laziness wanted them to kill him so badly, then why not ring the bell? But it seems that he really wants it. Meanwhile, Yu Shan was running towards them. She remembered that Mao Yuan had told her to use the golden ball to strike the golden bell, and they would detain Lin Yao. Yu Shan finally got up and said that now she could only strike the bell. But then she saw Mao Yuan and asked why, then, did Yu Shan suffer so much going upstairs? But at that moment, a huge stone hand crushed Mao Yuan. The system notified that the player Yu Tug has chosen the title of Brave, and then Tony's player dropped out. And then Mao Yuan, Lin Yao appeared and asked that they were all demons. How is it? Really? But then he saw Yu Shan, who started bowing to him out of fright and said that she was giving up, and he could do whatever he wanted. But Lin Yao said he didn't need it, and he laughed and said that this is how he underestimated Wang Huan. Roof. Wang Huan said that three against one, and the line was the winner, it seems that three are no good at all. Lin Yao told him that he was a real expert, and let Wang Huan not compare him with those scum who can no longer rationally use the artifacts provided. Wang Huan asked him what he was talking about. Lin Yao explained to him that what players can get different items will be what kind of tool or equipment you are but they can also receive specialized artifacts that will turn them into specialists in certain fields, thereby distinguishing them from the crowd. And he showed Wang Huan the E-rank artifact, the scales of the Slate Dragon, and he added that they can only be obtained in the dungeons if Wang Huan does not want to become the same trash as them. Then Lin Yao recommends that he start collecting them now. Wang Huan thanked him for the information, but asked why he was telling him all this, to which Lin Yao replied that Wang Huan was only at level 1 and he could not have enough funds to pay the penalties for losing. Therefore, the next game will already be a survival game for him, but in any case, it does not seem that the hero cares much about it. Lin Yao will be looking forward to their next game to finally crush him, to which Wang Huan told him, don't let him talk as if he had already won. And Lin Yao, about to attack Wang Huan, said that as soon as he dealt with him, the game would be over. It doesn't matter if he has only 3% HP. Even so, Wang Huan is not his opponent. But Wang Quan did not listen to him and, ringing the bell, said that if he rang the bell for justice, he would nominate him. And Lin Yao would immediately kill Yu Shan to protect himself. Lin Yao said that was true. But did Wang Quan really expect this stupid girl to vote in his favor? Wang Quan said that didn't it seem to him that if he was trying so hard to bring their game to a similar ending and would just give it all up now? Wang Quan rang the bell and used a potion of joy and attacked Lin Yao. After summoning the blood moon, Wang Huan thought that of course Lin Yao still had a couple of tricks to use such a reckless technique, capturing a huge territory. Wang Huan pretended to be reckless and activated the blood moon effect at the last moment, thereby confusing Lin Yao. It must have been his last goat. Otherwise, knowing him, Lin Yao continued to attack from a distant position. This is nothing compared to the fact that, in theory, Lin Yao can scatter stones around the perimeter to determine Wang Huan's location by sound. Wang Huan said it didn't matter, because for the next 10 minutes he would be strong enough to beat Lin Yao. But then something strange happened. Had he been attacked, it couldn't be Lin Yao, but when did he get there? But the value of HP remained the same, but the pain and blood. Was his body really injured by someone? In the library, Wang Huan's head was resting on the girl's shoulder. The girl told herself that she needed to concentrate, since she decided not to sleep. We need to get things sorted out as soon as possible today. Well, it's just impossible, it's been over an hour. What's the matter with him? Then someone came up to the girl and asked what else she had the courage to come here. And she seems to be having a great time with her date. The girl asked who she was. To which she replied that Zhu Wan and the last time the girl denounced her and she was punished. Who needed these broken headphones? The scoundrel immediately ran to complain. They even wanted to call the police. The girl apologized, saying that she did not know that this situation would cause Zhu Wan inconvenience. The guy, addressing his girlfriend, asked her to cool down. After all, he was here to help her. Zhu Wan thanked him and said that she had the best one. The girl was very scared and asked what he was going to do. The guy told her not to worry, because he doesn't hit women. So let her boyfriend answer for her sin, and hit Wang Huan on the head with a chair. The girl ran up to Wang Huan and asked if he was okay. Zhu Wan was very happy and said that her boyfriend was the strongest and asked her to beat him more. But the guy, coming to his senses, said that what was the matter? They came here to talk about why he hit him in the first place. Scared, the guy approached Wang Huan and asked how he was, why he was not moving and asked to urgently call an ambulance. The guy watching through the cameras said he was confirming it. The target is in a sleep state. They will attribute the previously noticed progress to interference with communication. The man on the left will get ready because he's starting. Meanwhile, in the game, Wang Huan didn't understand what was going on there, did he? He tried to exit the game. 
but a warning popped up that said that exiting the game would be considered a failure of the mission in this dungeon. Wang Huan thought that it's such a time to worry about some kind of loss, of course. But no, he needs to calm down. Wang Quan is currently in the student library. He cannot be in any serious danger. Most likely, he just fell and hit himself. Or something like that. All people are the greatest threat. But Wang Quan does not think that they will decide to show up at the student library out of the blue. The real body doesn't seem to be getting injured anymore. So if Wang Quan leaves the game now and everything that happened turns out to be just an accident, it will be pretty sad. Is it still about those people? In any case, if the heroes do not receive high rank rewards for completing this mission, he will have no chance in fighting them. The points will go into the negative, and all his efforts will go down the drain. This will make the situation even more dangerous. That's why everything is so obvious. It is necessary to be able to settle as soon as possible at any cost, and complete the mission of this dungeon. And Wang Quan decided to summon the Lord of Hell. Lin Yao thought that so much time had passed, and Wang Quan was still lingering, not attacking. What is he doing there anyway? He doesn't move at all. Lin Yao doesn't feel any hesitation. No extraneous sounds or changes. Lin Yao asked Wang Quan if he wants to play a game of endurance. Does he really think that he does not have enough moral strength? Wang Quan underestimates him. Well, let's see who's who. Meanwhile, the head of hell appeared and told them to execute the contract. Wang Quan defeated Lin Yao, and he said that initially he had thought of using this technique only as a last resort. However, Wang Quan needed to deal with Lin Yao as soon as possible. There was nothing to be done. Then Yu Shan ran up to him and said that Wang Quan was just great. He won, they won. Wang Quan said that yes, he had won. The system said that the player Lin Yao, who was eliminated from the game, played for the brave team. The remaining number of players is two, and the voting time is up. Wang Quan used a coercive action on Yu Shan, and he told her that they would meet next time. And I thought to myself, didn't she understand anything? The girl couldn't move and couldn't say anything. So Wang Quan smartly attached dynamite to Yu Shan's neck, moving away from Yu Shan to a safe distance. Wang Quan said that okay, he had to get this over with. Wang Quan had to return to his personal space as soon as possible and prepare to return to the real world, where real danger could await him. But then Yu Shan finally realized that Wang Quan was a demon and he was a liar. Wang Quan calmly told her that after all, he only had level 1, so he couldn't afford to pay a 50-point penalty, so there was nothing he could do about it. To which Yu Shan said that she didn't have 50 points either. Was it really possible to save them? Wang Quan told Yu Shan very rudely and aggressively that she was behaving like a sweet girl. And she was a real bridge who wanted to become stronger and crush everyone in her path, secretly improving his abilities. And he will go over their heads for the sake of his goal. She has already visited three dungeons before and she also wants to say that she still does not know about the rule of life and death. Yu Shan said it was a bit rude. Wang Quan laughed and said who is Yu Shan going to fool? But then Yu Shan realized something and said that wait a minute, the rules of life and death. Does a player really die if they don't have enough points? So Yu Shan is going to die now. Wang Quan asked her what percentage of her exploration of the map of this dungeon was. Yu Shan hesitated a bit and said 15%. But why is he asking? Wang Quan, clutching his head, said that Yu Shan looked like there was no use at all. Wang Quan was just wasting their time. And taking her hand, he said that they didn't have much time. They must explore the map in accelerated mode at 100%, and then Yu Shan will receive 50 points, and this will be enough to pay her penalty for losing. But she'll have to rely on herself for the next game. Yu Shan thanked him and said that Wang Quan was a good person after all, but shouldn't they go down the stairs? They should start from the bottom. Wang Quan repeated to her that they didn't have much time. Meanwhile, in the real world, everyone was alarmed around the library. Someone said that the ambulance had arrived. Did something really happen there? He was told that there was a fight in the library. Apparently the guys did not share the girl. Did someone ask if it was serious? It's not like they didn't share the girl. Wang Quan is taken to the hospital. The guy who hit him asks him to hold on. The girl was very worried about Wang Quan and said that she arrived pretty quickly soon, but wouldn't Wang Quan be alright? Zhu Wan looked at her phone and said that she had called an ambulance just a couple of seconds ago. Then the girl rushed to the doctor and asked if she could go with them. The man looked at her and told her sternly to sit down. 